Oh, the jewel. Let's have a cup of coffee and talk about some gaming news. Hmm. Attention, Apex Legends fans. We've got a brand new season for you as well as a brand new legend. Introducing season 17 of Apex Legends and the brand new legend, Ballistic. <laughs> Can we say daddy? <laughs> we also have an updated rank system, a brand new survival item, brand new practice range, as well as a whole bunch of different changes to World's Edge. Season 17 brings a whole host of brand new features as well as interesting ways of trying to get Predator. It's time to rise to the top of the Apex Legends hierarchy. And this season just might be your best chance to get that coveted Predator badge. And now it's time for some news about Blizzard Entertainment. We're going to talk about the news that's got everybody scratching their heads currently. Blizzard Entertainment, known for creating iconic heroes and immersive gaming experiences, had an ambitious idea for a PvE hero mode in Overwatch 2. This mode was set to revolutionize the way we play their games, but recent updates has brought surprising news. That's right homies, Blizzard decided to scrap this idea for a hero mode. But what exactly was hero mode and why did they scrap it? When the sequel to Overwatch was announced at BlizzCon 2019, it was with the promise of a PvE hero component that would allow players to gather their squads and play through a narrative-driven multiplayer experience. On top of that, each of the heroes that they come to know and love would be reworked for PvE and given progression systems that would allow players to unlock new talent. It was an ambitious new mode that, and in many ways was used to justify the two at the end of Overwatch 2. We had high hopes for hero mode, and during development, they probably realized that they weren't meeting their quality standards and the expectations of their dedicated fan base. While it's disappointing that hero mode won't become a reality anytime soon, it's important to remember that Blizzard's decision reflects their commitment to delivering exceptional gaming experiences. But fear not, Blizzard is not resting on their laurels, they're redirecting their efforts to improve existing game modes, create exciting new content, and listen to player feedback. The future holds promising updates, expansions, and adventures for all Blizzard fans to enjoy. So fellow gamers, I mean, why don't we just give them a chance? They just want to give us good product at the end of the day, you know? Maybe in the future they might release some kind of PvE hero mode. I mean, let's give them a chance. Nintendo done did it. They finally released Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Zelda Tears of the Kingdom takes you on an unforgettable journey through the vast, mystical lands of Hyrule. Reunite with Link, the valiant hero, as he embarks on a quest to rescue Princess Zelda from the clutches of darkness. Encounter breathtaking environments, challenging puzzles, and intense combat that I'm sure most of us would enjoy. I've heard that there's pretty interesting things happening in that game. <laughs> Let's just say that, hey? With innovative gameplay and stunning visuals, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom pushes the boundary of what you thought you could do in a Zelda game. Zelda really looks like a good time and I can't wait to get my hands on it. But don't take my word for it. Just look all over social media, you'll see that everybody's raving about this game at the moment. Do yourself a favor. Just play it, you know? Just, just play it. Might, you know, you might have some fun. Who knows? Open world RPG, Zelda, cool storyline. Just play it. And in dope local news, mark your calendars for the 1st and 2nd July 2023 because the Red Bull Kumite is coming to Pretoria. Red Bull Kumite has been held since 2015 and for the first time it's coming to Africa. From July 1st to 2nd, the top Street Fighter 6 players from around the world, amateurs and pros alike, will battle it out to be crowned the Red Bull Kumite 2023 champion. It's gonna be sick. I, I would, I'm gonna go, you know. I, yeah, I would, I would dig to go. So the Red Bull Kumite has like hosted some of the coolest matchups ever, and it's gonna be the first time that it's gonna be a Street Fighter 6 competition. So it's, we're quite lucky, you know. We're kind of lucky that we get to experience it here in South Africa, the first Street, you know, Street Fighter 6 uh, Red Bull Kumite event. 
I think it's going to be pretty cool. And then we got some other cool news in the world in terms of gaming news. Mortal Kombat, brand new one. Mortal Kombat 1, they actually call in it. Are you excited for something pretty freaking brutal? The game will introduce a reborn universe that has been created by the fire god Liu Kang. Featuring new versions of iconic characters, a new fighting system, new game modes, as well as brand new bone crushing finishing moves. Dead by Daylight is getting Nicolas Cage, as in THE Nicolas Cage. And what's really cool is that Nicolas Cage is playing Nicolas Cage as Nicolas Cage. <laughs> They're also getting Iron Maiden and Slipknot. I'm a fan of Slipknot, so that's pretty cool news as well. And in closing news, we have a little bit of a teaser for the brand new song by Tenacious D called Video Game. If you haven't eaten today, don't forget to eat. Don't forget to hydrate and most importantly, do not forget that I love you.